Fredo Bang just sent a stern warning, <laughs> allegedly, to Little Boosie. I don't know if it's too much of allegedly. He got a song he just did with Little Ivy Jr. And it's raw now. I ain't gonna lie to you now. That shit is raw, bro. Like, that song go with Lil Brazy out here. And Lil Ivy Jr. done picked up his bars. I see the growth. You know what I mean? Go ahead and do it for your dad, bro. Because Lil Ivy Jr., father Ivy Sr., you know, we all know he wanted to be in the rap game and do this and that. That's why he got a whole record company out here. We know the rumors is Ivy and Boosie wasn't seen eye to eye. They wasn't seen cool. I'm going I'm to do another video about that. And we know the family already brought it up. It was because little... I heard this rumor now for a minute now, way before Boosie got out of prison. And I'm going to be real with you. During the world star, when it was at his greatest moment, rest in peace to that man Q. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me let me take a sip for all the guys who ain't here no more. Rest in peace to all the dead, man. Hold on. Let's have a moment of silence for everybody that we lost in 2021. I know we did it for 2020, but I want to have a moment of silence for everybody we lost in 2021 all the way down to the beginning of time, bro. Hold on. Now, we all know Ivy Sr., he wanted to be a rapper. Now, the rumors are he tried to get Boosie to put him in touch with a lot of the folks in them who got Boosie and Webby and all, mostly Boosie, who got him his bringing the record companies or whatnot. But rumors are, and this is alleged rumors, I can't back it or prove it other than what Ivy family is saying and what people around the situation is saying. Now, they're saying that Boosie done did certain calls to knock off basically Ivy plans, meaning like stopping him from being a rapper. You know what I mean? I don't know. And now, if it is true, the only thing I can think of, if it's true and Boosie did allegedly do that, is you don't want your man to be in the same position as you because you feel good being a dude that's giving the money away. You know, a lot of rappers don't want to admit it. They can act like they hate being Santa Claus, but a lot of these rappers love being Santa Claus and shit. You know what I mean? They like giving back to the block, giving to the... The people, but it's not just for the good part. So people could be like, he the one who looks out. He Some people want they flowers right then and there. So I don't know. It's, it's tricky. But I will say Ivy wanted to be a rapper. So to see Ivy Jr. rapping now, that, that make me kind of proud. I ain't going to cap on it. You know, like father, like son. And like father, like son, if Ivy Sr. has some problems with Boosie before he died, then we all know the apple don't fall far from the fucking tree, gang. We all know this time was coming, bro. Every kid's got to grow up. And if you did something to paw in them and they done heard about it through grandmama and them, auntie and them, you know what I mean? Mama and them, they done said that this dude is a righteous dude he, or this dude over here is a snake in the skin type dude. You got a lot of friends and homies. You ain't no telling who done got to this man's ear, but it already got to him. So Ivy Jr. and Fredo Bang got this song out. So now you got to look at Fredo Bang part. Fredo Bang... It's involving a deep situation with this now. Bang is thinking to himself, this is how I could look at this situation. Like, I got to do something if you got your son out here throwing the slicker shots now. So I think that was a response for 2D Raw, and they did, because he added Ivy Jr. to it. And in that video, Ivy Jr. is just straight dissing. I'm going to do a separate video for that to get in on with that pause. He just straight dissing nonstop. He's like, you better chill with getting your daddy and paws and all that, bro. He basically talking about Boosie and Tootie, bro. He ain't holding back. And some people will call it a slick diss or under the table. That, nah, bro, he out, he out front with it. I know what he doing, bro. You can't keep name dropping when it's already deep like that, bro. The name drops ain't going to work. So now you're going to have to be trill with it, bro. You're going to have to keep it just all the way 100 where it's only street can understand or the people who know what's in tune with all right, I see what you're doing, gang. Because you got all these gang divisions. You got all these undercover agencies, task force against you. You got to watch the bro. It, niggas still believe it's just a rap song. If I say this, if I say it ain't real, they ain't going to use it in court. I seen everybody and their mama say that. And they still use it in court. Still use it to find your ass guilty. Still use it. It's a whole 10 years later. Niggas still saying they wasn't supposed to do that. And I feel you, gang. I'm with you, bro. Free that man, whoever he is. Free that man right quick. But your ass is still going to sit and rot up in there. 
Be smart how you move. Now, Fredo Bang being involved, we know that's Boosie's cousin. We know that's Ivy is Boosie's best friend. So it, it's, it's love and friendship and family involved in this shit. And we know just like Chicago, many people don't give a damn if you my cousin, you little bro in them. You don't, I, I do. I like, that's the thing that stopped me from doing anything wrong to my family when they take it there with me. I got so much love for families and cousins. The most I'll do is just, I, I won't be on speaking terms with you. I'll keep my distance from you. But you got other family in them where it's like blood in, blood out. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about you being my cousin. Oh, cuz, oh, cuz. Niggas don't care, gang. Niggas be doing drills on their own people, bro. This is real life. And it's been like that since the beginning of time. So I ain't gonna be mean to Chicago like y'all like doing. Shout out to Chicago. I love Chicago. I ain't gonna hate on them like, oh, Chicago and them be killing their own cuz. Nigga, that's everywhere, bro. Let's, niggas got stories like that since we was in elementary, bro. That, that, that's everywhere, bro. Nigga, I got stories where I done fought my own cousin. Didn't know this nigga was my cousin. And during a wedding, we done educational purpose. Let's, I, I can't say because of YouTube, but let's just say seven of us versus two of them, bro. Big facts. <laughs> you know how awkward it is, bro, at the family get-togethers, uh, get bro? You know y'all love each other, but shit would never be the same. But in other states and places, niggas is drilling, bro, putting you six feet under, bro. So I don't think Fredo give a damn about Boosie being his cousin. And I don't think Boosie give a damn no more about Fredo being his so-called cousin. Maybe he used to, because I seen a whole interview where Boosie done did, and he was breaking down how Fredo is his cousin. He was breaking down how him and Fredo's connected in many way more, uh, more that you guys wouldn't understand. So that had me sitting back like, okay, I see the play. I know what Boosie is talking about. I know what he breaking, um, bringing up and breaking down to the people. He, he even made sure he told folks, when he talked to Fredo, it wasn't really like that because there are people in both sides camps that don't like each other. Yeah, it's up there. And there's people in Fredo's side that can't wait to see Lil Boosie. Oh, you don't like me saying that. I'm a Boosie fan too. But there are people on Fredo banging them in TBG that can't wait till they see Boosie Boo. Bro, I'm talking about my mama, nigga. They see this nigga ain't gonna be like how we look at Boosie as the boogeyman. You gotta remember, these niggas from the same type neighborhood. They, some of them was raised by the boogeyman himself. So they like, fuck, you mean this Boosie. They don't care about none of that. So Lil Ivy and them in that song going wild, my nigga. Letting it be known. And you can look at Fredo stand at Lil Ivy like, he big bro. Like, look at my product, Boosie. I done raised him in what? Basically how I feel like Fredo... Looking at, and I'm going to do a whole video about that. Fredo looking at Boosie like, this is what you were supposed to do with Lil Ivy. You were supposed to raise that man up, and now I'm doing the job that you failed on. Don't get mad at me, y'all. I'm just a messenger. Y'all tell me if I ain't calling that to a T. You look at Fredo and Lil Ivy Jr. in that video, and many of us fans, just, we ain't going to say it, but we felt, I'm going to say what you scary niggas scared to say. Niggas and them looking at it like, hold on, gang. Yeah, I see what it is, bruh. We see the play, bro. We even if it ain't Boosie fault, but people narratives gonna be that Fredo Bang looking out for Ivy and them, and he doing for Ivy Junior what Boosie was supposed to be doing. Boosie telling everybody I done adopted Ivy kids, man. Niggas over here like quit all that fucking capping, nigga. Who you adopted? Who you look out for, man? You ain't this shit here for me, gang. That's what Ivy and them family saying. You niggas can get mad at what I'm saying. I don't sugarcoat it like other bloggers do, bro. It's already out there. It's in the air, bro. It ain't nigga be messy. I don't do gossip with the T on my platform. Our platform. This is our platform, gang. Shout out to the Smoke Gangs, my moderators and my day ones and my new folks. This is journalism, my nigga. It's just you getting it from a hood nigga perspective, gang. I don't do gossip with the T. I do real nigga with the spill. You dig me, bro? These people be looking at Boosie like Boosie got everybody love. Like, I love Boosie. You love Boosie. But the world don't love Boosie because you and I rock with Lil Boosie, bro. Fredo Bang is like, he's been more open about it more than ever, bro. Like, he's been on the hush just for the last two and a half, three years about Boosie, NBA young boy and all that. Picking and choosing, picking a side. Now this nigga Boosie... And Fredo Bang, both sides ain't being quiet no more. Like it's 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 gonna get to the collision course, bro. Two cars could be speeding on separate lanes, bro, going opposite directions. Two cars can every day speed 
200 miles an hour or more. Eventually, two cars got a wreck and crash. Educational purpose. And then you seen the collision and you seen the aftermath of that collision. You know what I mean? We ain't seen the monster of a total loss yet. We ain't reached that point of a total loss. Right now, it's the insurance claims right now where shit could get fixed. But in a little bit, it's going to cross the lines where shit ain't never going to be fixed. So I feel like videos like this, I hope Boosie and Fredo and them, they, they could get mad. But I hope you niggas get mad enough where you just say, man, let's chill with all this extra shit. Let's just chill with it. Go ahead and squash it, but... Bloods and stains been shed already, bro. Ain't no squashing ish. At least not for TVG, bro. It is it is what it is, bro. When you yelling out, we don't fuck with gorillas and all this extra ish. Yeah. Message is getting sent, bro. Look, I'm your God bless one, man. Love your, love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed, gang. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Come rock out with the most winningest team out here, gang. I smoke hip-hop live. Salute to all of y'all.